This is for all of you out there who watch entirely too much television or haven't read a book in a while. It's an excerpt from Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky. Uh, I am not a thespian, so bear with me. And it is long, so I'll put, do it in two parts and, uh, I don't know, get some popcorn. Um, something special seems to be going on. A celebration. There's a crowd of townspeople all dressed up. Peasant women, their husbands, all kinds of riffraff. They're all drunk, all singing songs. Near the front of the steps of a tavern stands a wagon, a strange wagon, though. It's one of those big wagons used to carry boxes or wine barrels, usually drawn by huge dray horses. He always liked watching those huge horses with their long manes and thick legs plodding calmly and deliberately on, drawing practically a whole mountain of goods, yet scarcely straining, almost as though it were easier going with a load than without one. Now, though, strangely enough, a small, skinny sorrel mare was hitched up to one of those big wagons. This peasant's nag is the kind that finds pulling even an ordinary cart difficult if it is piled high with wood or hay, and especially if it gets stuck in the mud or in a rut. And every time this happens, peasants beat her painfully, with whips right along the muzzle and around the eyes. And every time he, he saw this, he grieved so. Grieved so to be watching this that he almost wept. And it always ended with his mother leading him away from the window. Suddenly, hulks of peasants come pouring out of the tavern, singing, strumming, drunk, blind drunk. Oh, bored everybody. I'll take everybody. What's wrong with you, Makolka? You nuts or something hitching that little mare up to that big wagon? All aboard, I'll take you all, Makolka shouts again. He leaps first onto the wagon, takes the reins up front, and stands at full height. She don't earn her keep, so if I kill her, so what? I'll make her gallop. She'll gallop, all right. He takes the whip in his hands and gets ready to gleefully flog the sorrel. Did you hear that? She's gonna gallop. She ain't galloped for ten years. Don't worry, you guys. She'll gallop. Come on, let's go. Okay. Let her have it. They pile into Makolka's wagon, laughing and joking. Six men climb aboard, and there's room for more. They take a fat, red-faced peasant woman along with them, and she's cracking nuts and laughing. They all shout, Gee up! And the mare strains with all her might. But not only does she not gallop, it's all that she can do to move forward at all. Her legs make pathetic little pawing motions as the blows of... Three whips drop on her like hailstones. The laughter in the crowd in the wagon doubles, but Makolka is beginning to lose his temper, and he flogs the little mare furiously with quickened blows, exactly as though he really believed she could gallop. Let me get on to you guys, shouts a young fellow from the crowd who had worked up an appetite for the occasion. All aboard, all aboard, everybody, Makolka yells. She'll pull everybody, I'll whip her and he lashes and lashes, no longer knowing why, hitting out in a frenzy. Daddy, Daddy, he shouts to his father. Daddy, what are they doing? Daddy, they're beating the poor horsey. Let's go, let's go, his father says. They're drunk, they're, they're idiots, they're fooling around. You mustn't look, let's go. His father tries to lead him away, but he tears himself loose from his father's hands, and besides himself, he runs toward the horse. For the poor horse, things are in a bad way. She's breathing hard, stopping, straining again, almost falling. Whipper to death, Mokoka yells. Uh, I don't mind, I'll whip her myself. An old man shouts indignantly from the crowd. How come there's a cross on you? You're no Christian. You're the devil. Another adds, You can see the horse can't pull a load like that. A third shouts, You're doing her in. I uh, mind your own business. I'll do what I please. I'll board, I'll board everybody. I want her to gallop and she'll gallop. 
Suddenly a volley of laughter erupts that drowns out everything else. Unable to stand the intensified beating, the little mare in her impotence had begun to kick. Even the old man, unable to restrain himself, breaks out laughing. <laughs> Imagine a, a bag of bones like that, and yet she kicked. 